How many times has Nintendo Land talked about this topic? Well, let's go over it. Probably a million, okay? I'm not gonna go over it because it's just too much. But yes, I've talked about this for a while, and I'm sorry, I just have to keep bringing this up as we get closer and closer towards the end of this year. I mean, we're already halfway through this year, and apparently the Switch 2 is going to be announced within this fiscal year, so my mind is rambling and racing thinking about the next huge title for Nintendo, and I cannot stop thinking about the next 3D Mario. Of course, as we all know, this year will mark seven years since Super Mario Odyssey originally released on the Nintendo Switch in 2017. This is pretty wild, you know, I don't think there's ever been a time quite this long since we waited for the next iteration of 3D Mario. The longest time was moving from Mario 64 to Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube, and that was six years, so we're already got a new record uh, for the longest wait for a 3D Mario game. Now, a lot of people will argue, thanks to Bowser's Fury, that kind of affected this, because maybe Nintendo thinks Bowser's Fury was kind of considered a new 3D Mario, which it technically was, just an extremely small kind of tech difference version if you will um but yeah i guess that kind of broke that time in half a little bit so maybe that's why we've gotten to wait a little bit longer since that game release which was february of 2021 it's been about three and a half years since bowser's theory which ideally once again was just mario 3d world once again uh, but with an additional 3d experience that was about two hours to complete but regardless mario fans are craving for the next 3d mario experience it's just been too long and we're ready to see where Mario and his adventures are gonna set him off next, as we've been getting nothing but remakes, remasters, ports, RPGs, 2D games, everything Mario besides the 3D. But this year just feels different, and it's not just because it feels different, I'm not gonna sit here and act like, oh, I'm just seeing into the future, it's just simply due to the fact that Nintendo had already stated that during the fiscal year that they were gonna show off this Switch 2 and announce it properly, and of course, showing off a new console, you can't just show it off without any games coming to it, especially considering the fact that all the rumors are suggesting that the launch title for this brand new Switch is going to be a 3D, not only 3D, but open world Mario experience, and this just makes sense if they're following off of the guidelines of Bowser's Fury, which is already kind of a mini open world Mario for the first time ever, it just shows that maybe this was a test for something a lot bigger that's planned from Nintendo, a true open world Mario experience. If that's the case, I have a big theory that we could be seeing this next 3D Mario any day now. Yes, even as soon as this upcoming Nintendo Direct that apparently is going to be airing next week. Now why am I so confident that a 3D Mario trailer is coming soon? Well, it has a lot to do with the position that we're in and the timing of everything. We have no clue when Switch 2 is actually going to launch, but all the the rumors and leaks are suggesting that it's going to be March of next year, very similar to how the original Switch launched this way. And it makes sense because I feel like this new console should definitely come out at the beginning of next year at the latest because we've just been pushing and pushing and pushing back and it seems like that this console was originally going to be coming this holiday season. So I'm placing all my bets on March of 2025 for the release of Switch 2. The thing with that is it's just nine months away until we reach that release date. Could could you imagine that in nine months we could be holding the Switch 2? That nine month gap is very, very significant, and let me tell you why. Nintendo has major first party AAA games to show off, they wouldn't normally do so well in advance to start a hype cycle in order to really hype people up over an upcoming game that everyone is going to want to play, and this is definitely no exception for their biggest IP being Mario. Just look at all the past huge titles that they revealed in advance. Breath of the Wild was revealed in 2014 for the first time ever, and obviously would not come out until three years later in 2017. In June of 2019, Nintendo revealed that there would be a sequel to Breath of the Wild, which we wouldn't even learn the name of it until years later, and obviously Breath of the Wild wouldn't release until 2023, being four years later. Now I believe that both of these games were slated to release earlier than they did. But even with three and four years, let's just say they were supposed to release a year early, that would knock it down to two and three years. So either way, that's still a long gap from reveal to actual release. Animal Crossing New Horizons was revealed from Smash Bros, believe it or not, in 2018. We know it wouldn't release until two years later in 2020. Now, I will say Animal Crossing New Horizons was planned to come out in 2019, so it still would have at least been a year. Now, for Super Mario Odyssey, we didn't get the reveal trailer until the January January presentation, which was just a couple months until the new console released, but going from January to October was a nine month window gap, which is 
exactly where we are now. If you really want to dive into the details, Super Mario Odyssey was technically sneak peeked a whole year before it would even come out. Yes, we actually saw clips of this new Mario game during the reveal trailer for the Nintendo Switch all the way back in October of 2016, which would be 12 months, a whole year before Mario Odyssey would even come out. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was revealed in March of 2018 and wouldn't release until December of 2018 that same year, but being nine months apart once again. Luigi's Mansion 3 was revealed in September of 2018 and wouldn't actually launch until October of 2019, nearly a year later. Dude, even Pikmin, which for some reason people still don't see it as like one of Nintendo's core franchises or big AAA projects, Pikmin 4 took 10 months from reveal to actual launch. Do we even need to talk about Metroid Prime 4? It was announced before development even started, not to mention it had restarted development, and today marks actual seven years since Metroid Prime 4 was originally revealed. Seven years. The point I'm trying to make is that Nintendo normally announces their bigger games well in advance, you know, and maybe they need to stop doing it so far in advance, but still, they definitely do it in advance because they know that it's going to generate hype. You know, people are going to run and pre-order these games and jump to this game whenever they can. There's going to be giant marketing pushes and campaigns like they did with Super Mario Odyssey where they had the Mario mascot travel the globe and stuff. It's stuff like this is what really generates hype around your game and Nintendo's marketing team is going to want to start, especially with a huge brand new 3D Mario game and the very first open world 3D Mario game if these rumors are correct. So this hype train should be starting very soon if not already. Now I know there's some exceptions to this rule, for instance Super Mario Wonder was actually revealed in June and came out literally in October, so that was only a 4 month gap. Now some people will say that this isn't considered a huge super game from Nintendo since it is a 2D Mario game, and I can kinda see that, but you know, that was a very short gap. For the most part, it looks like Nintendo likes to sit around a 9 to 12 month gap in order to get a game revealed before it actually comes out. And like I said, we are now within that nine month gap. So in my head, naturally, I'm expecting a big 3D Mario trailer any day now. But when are we actually going to get this trailer? That's the question. Well, we know Nintendo is still planning to have some type of event probably I would expect towards the end of this year, towards the fall, to reveal this new console. My bet is around August, September, I think would be perfect. Um, but what if Nintendo doesn't want to wait that long? I mean, if Nintendo decides to wait until like September or even October the latest, your months are getting even shorter. That gap is shrinking. I mean, initially you're going from a nine month gap between reveal to release to a six to five month gap. And to me, that may not be enough time to really market and sell a huge new Mario game. Do you need to? No, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, a new 3D Mario, especially an open world 3D Mario is gonna sell itself. But that's not just saying you can't just market your game then. Like, oh, well, Mario's gonna sell, let's put out no advertisements. No, you still have to market the game very heavily because there are gonna be you know, audience members that they wanna gather in. For instance, non-Mario fans, people that just buy this new Switch because of this Mario game, they wanna advertise this thing. That is why I am once again bringing this up for this video is because I feel like the time is extremely near. So near, in fact, I feel like, yeah, this upcoming Nintendo Direct could have one surprise for us. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna automatically shut this down because Nintendo did, in fact, mention that there'd be no mention of the Nintendo Switch 2 during this Nintendo Nintendo Direct, and I'll say it once again, one more time for the people that like to argue this with me, is that they don't need to talk about Switch 2 in this Direct to reveal this Mario game. In fact, they don't need to say anything about the new console at all, and really all they need to do is show the new Mario game. I mean, that doesn't even have to be like a real trailer. They could just show like the giant open world and just have a title or just say 2025 go across the screen as like the last big reveal. That's all they need to do. That way, they did hold to their truth, you know, they didn't talk about Switch 2, they didn't say anything about Switch 2, we don't even know if it's a Switch 2 game, they just say 2025, because who knows, maybe this is a cross-plat game, maybe this game is so big that they have it released simultaneously on both original Switch and the successor, the same way Breath of the Wild released on the Wii U and the Switch on the same day. So, there's a good chance we could maybe get that one last thing, being the big 3D Mario reveal, and at this upcoming Nintendo Direct, which I know 
it, it sounds very hopeful, but I'm saying it's more likely than people are giving it credit for. Now, am I going to stomp and complain and be angry and upset with Nintendo if this doesn't show up at the Nintendo Direct next week? No, not at all. You know, in fact, I'm not even 100% expecting something like this, not even like 50% expecting something like this. It's more like 30 40 percent chance in my mind that this could happen so you know they can easily have a great direct showing without even mentioning this 3d mario game but i still feel like it would be very weird to see us go further and further into the year and still not hear a single peep about this 3d mario game it would start to make me scratch my head a little bit and make me wonder if switch 2 is actually coming out in march because that gap getting so small it just seems really weird to not market this new mario game a lot earlier Remember, Breath of the Wild was marketed well before Switch would even come out or even be revealed. I mean, that was starting marketing in like 2014, and I know originally it was planned for the Wii U. They showed that game off well before any future console hardware was announced. So once again, I think we could just see a glimpse of what this 3D Mario game is. Maybe a title, maybe a date, maybe just a sneak peek of the world, maybe just a little something to get us hyped for the future. Now, it's no secret that Nintendo loves to end their shows with big games coming the year after. No matter how many times they try to prepare us and say this show is for games for this year they always go on to the next year and have one last thing to really excite us for the following year and this normally is also the case for summer e3s that they used to have and even fall nintendo direct sometimes even spring nintendo directs would do something like that i mean let's just go back for the nintendo switch june of 2017 they just showed more mario odyssey which of course if there's a big game coming out that's probably what they're going to do every time uh for june 2018 they showed more smash stuff once again a big game coming out later that year for june 2019 they showed off tears of the kingdom which wouldn't release until 2023 june 2021 they showed off tears of the kingdom which wouldn't release until 2023 and in june of 2023 they showed mario wonder a new game and then at september 2023 they showed paper mario which wouldn't come until 2024 another thing to keep track of is all of these summer directs ended with a mario or zelda game since 2017 when there was one during the summer which is crazy so i would kind of say that there's a better chance than people are giving it credit for for us to get a big Mario reveal or maybe it's a Zelda reveal, who knows? Like I said before, I think it's gonna come down between two things during this Nintendo Direct. If Nintendo has a big holiday game that they wanna show off during this Direct and at the very end of the show, and then say it's coming this holiday, like a big 2D Zelda, a big Donkey Kong game, something along those lines, then of course they're gonna wait for Mario. But if they don't have anything like that for this holiday season, I think it's a guarantee. I mean, a guarantee. If they don't have one big holiday game this holiday, there's a big guarantee that they're gonna show off this 3D Mario game and say 2025, because they gotta hype us up for something big in the future. It's been too long, we've been a while without a general Nintendo Direct, it's time for something huge. But please don't go into this Nintendo Direct saying, Nintendo Land said that there would be Mario. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that there is a good chance that it could happen. And in my eyes, it probably should happen very soon. But we're just gonna have to wait and see what Nintendo has up their sleeves. Normally, these summer Nintendo Directs are their biggest ones. And like I said, we haven't had one since last year in September. So I think we're due for a pretty exciting show. At least I'm hoping so. Or we might just have to wait even more a couple months <laughs> until Nintendo has their big Switch 2 presentation but we're just going to wait and see. Let me know in the comments down below when you think we'll see this 3D Mario game. Do you feel like it's soon? Do you think it's going to happen very soon like I'm thinking? Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.